Now, anyone who's ever moved household will know how chaotic and stressful that can be. And the worst thing is when you get to the other side and you need a certain item and you're not quite sure which box it's in, then you start rummaging through boxes and half unpack them and you create even more chaos. So we've devised a system using Microsoft Word to form an inventory of all your items as you pack them. And uh, we use a system of coding for boxes and I'll show you that in a minute. When you get to the other side, you just go to the computer and you search for the item that you're looking for and it pops up with the box number and you go to that box specifically and you open it and you find your item. So that's much more civilized. So let's go to the computer now and I'll show you how we set it up. Right, here we are at the computer. Now obviously you're going to have to have Microsoft Word on your computer if you're going to use that program. And um, I've got it on my uh, taskbar here, but if you haven't got it there, then you'd have to go to your start button here, press on that. And, and it's one of the programs I use a lot, so it's it's listed here under most used. But if it's not there, then you'll have to go down to Microsoft Office and drop down and there it is there and you just click it once and that will load it uh, but as i said i've got it on my taskbar so then you open a new document so now once you've got your blank document open in word you can give it a heading say moving moving inventory and then uh, you can insert a table you need about four columns, depending on how you're going to set it up, but we found four columns is about right. Your first column is your zone description. You don't need much space for that, so you can make that quite narrow. Then we've got your zone code. And then you've got your box number. And then you've got your contents of each box and then you just get going uh, so you'd have a zone say for kitchen and the zone code would be K and your first box would be K1 and then you'd put the contents which let's say it's pots, pans, mugs, whatever. Uh, then you'd go on to your next box which would be K2 and that might have glasses and whatever else is in there and then you go on to your next zone which might be living and you'd give it a code like L. And your first box would be L1. And uh, you might put vases or whatever else you have in that area. And whatever else goes in that box, you just keep adding until you've got a long list of them. And it's, it's important to write the code on the box and fill in the contents immediately after you've packed the box because you'll forget and two boxes will merge in your mind and uh, you can't go and pack three boxes and then hope to remember what was in each box so do it one at a time that's the only way to get it accurate so anyway we ended up with something like this so there's our codes now we're on the other side now we've moved and we've got this bunch of boxes and we want to find stuff so now what you do keep it all in one document all your different zones must be in one document so that you can search with word so then you go to view and you tick navigation pane there we go now let's say for instance I'm a bit peckish and I feel like some soup. 
So now I want to find out which box the soup is in and I haven't a clue. I've got 24 kitchen boxes here and I haven't a clue which one the soup's in. I could look through all of these lists and find it, which is a way of doing it, but it's much easier to do this. If I click there, results, and then I click there and I type soup, there it is. It's found soup for me. So, and even if you haven't got exactly the same, it will match as much as it can with your search, which is fantastic. So this is wonderful. So now I know that I've got to go and look for box K18 if I want some soup. So let's go and do that. I'll show you what a mess our garage is in because it's just loaded with boxes and uh, it's absolute chaos, but I can find my soup exactly which box it's in. So let's go and have a look. So now I've managed to locate the box I want. There it is, K18. Now normally you'd like to group your boxes according to their code, but we arrived here pretty late at night and the electricity wasn't connected, so we were doing everything in the dark, so it was a bit chaotic by torchlight, so we didn't end up uh, asking the removalists to keep the boxes in their particular zone groups, like all the L's together and all the O's together, etc. But um, it's worked out all right. I've managed to find the box. So now we've got to see if I can find my soup in that box. No soup yet, but it's looking promising. There's the flour. These are all pantry items. So that looks good. And what do you know? Italian minestrone and creamy chicken and mushroom. How's that for a find, hey? So, so that's worked out pretty well. I found what I was looking for, so the system works. Now, if you found this useful, please like and share this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. And if you have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear from you. If you just scroll right down to the bottom, you'll find the comment section there. Thank you very much for watching.